Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my so Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be unlocking some good skills, um, four to be four in total, and making an item we can then go and sell in Providence, basically using the Indian arrowhead and the Indian feather. But first of course we need to unlock a skill in order to make that item which is an inspirational so without further ado let's get started ah first of all though let's show you what I forgot to show you in the past episodes which was two new movement movement skills we got after learning hiking and foraging do you remember previously that uh, when I learnt hiking I looked in the adventure menu and didn't see anything that was because of course I was being silly which the game gamester often is the new skills were un unlocked under the movement button so when we click movement you will notice that when we learnt hiking we got this new one called climbing modes if we left click we will say, see then a skill called Afraid of Heights. Basically, it allows us to climb steeper hills. Um, but to be honest with you, I rarely use these climbing skills because I prefer to either terraform down the hill or walk around it. Um, I've not been in a situation yet where I've used that because it will drain your uh, humours. So anyway... The second skill that we unlocked, which was in the last episode, which is Forage. Now, again, I don't use this skill because your yellow bile and small amounts of your phlegm, which is your um, blue bile, your, your, your blue bar, I should say, they continually drain. So there's too much risk at such a low humour level, too much risk of getting knocked out. Okay, and I believe you will be knocked out if you if you use the skill and one of these gets to zero. Not worth the risk. So, but it's opened this skill up and as you can see there, forage significantly increases your chances of finding foraged items but also makes you move somewhat slower than normal. Forage costs yellow bile while active and small amounts of phlegm while you move. So it's saying we will find more stuff as we walk around. Uh, you know what? I find plenty of stuff without using this. Um, later on though, when we get our humours up higher, then we can try it out and take a good look at it. Notice we do have two other movement skills. One is run. Yes, I tried running away from a snake, but yes, it still managed to bite me and poison me and knock me out. So after that display of... Um, ineffectiveness I don't bother with the run now and wander as well like it says it in slightly increases your chances of finding foraged items but drains your blood and your phlegm so anything that's going to continually drain my humors while they're so low is not advisable so there we are though that was the two that were unlocked that I missed to mention previously but the gamester does try to get get it correct in the end okay now we need to start learning some skills so our foraging gets better as in more nuts when we forage bushes and trees we have plenty of inspiration to burn and it would be a waste if I went to the bed um, without getting my inspiration let's bring it up down to 300,000 so let's engage you why is that, do you think? Why would it be a waste for me to go use that bed right now? Okay, you've had time to think about that. Yes, that's right. Because if I go to the bed, I'm going to sleep for probably, I won't be back online for at least minimum of eight hours. It's going to regenerate back 100,000 in inspiration. So I may as well get it down to 300,000. So when I come back, it will be back to 400,000. So that's what you will also get in the habit of doing. Or if you're not going to play for the day, log on for five minutes just to learn a load of whatever you want. Increase, either increase your proficiencies or learn some new skills. The choices are yours and they're all good, my friends. 
Okay, the skills we are going to learn are Indian tracking, which is the one that we can then use to make items that we can go and sell in Providence, which I will do at the end of this episode. But first I need to um, show you some other skills that we're going to unlock. But first of all, let's unlock Indian tracking. Now remember that I went through these and basically they didn't have faith and wisdom. I did have a hunch that this inspirational that we can make gave faith and wisdom and it does and we only need to so let's show you how to make this because it is a fantastic inspirational go to the craft go to inspirationals go to toys and there you will see the grass whistle left click and you will see it needs hardly anything at all to make one grass one reed which we have so let's craft one okay there we are we now have two stacks so we've got plenty okay we'll keep that minimized might make another one let's see how we get on so now to learn Indian tracking let's start chomping up studying I should say these um, smooth stones I think they are the best ones for us to do if I remember correctly yeah let's just use some mm. okay minus one oops let's eat something There's two, so we've done flora and fauna, we've done arts and crafts, uh, faith and wisdom we will do in a minute, <clears throat> hunting and hide working is done, mines and mountains is done, sparks and embers is done, and nearly natural philosophy, we only need 60, will we get that from this? Nope, so guess what? We'll chew another rock. Mm. Or we'll study another one. There we go. Now, as all we need to do is eat some more food. Study the grass whistle. <whistles> Notice you get a little sound when you do that. We need to study one more. <whistles> and now we have Indian tracking unlocked. So we'll buy. <laughs> Oh, I do love that sound, that little jingle. There we go. Now that we have Indian tracking, it not only affords us greater success when searching for plants and people, but we now can make a new inspirational, which is the Savage Charm. Why is this important? Because we can sell this in providence which we're going to do before i wrap up this episode so anyway let's create one let's we have one feather we have many arrowheads let's craft okay so here we go and there we are now you can wear this um why would you wear it because it will remind you of the proficiency points it's going to give you but because it's so early in the day and we need money badly, we're just going to sell it. So there we go. Anyway, right, moving on then. We're going to learn some more skills. We will go and sell that at the end and I will show you how to get to Providence. So now that we've made that, we're going to now learn exploration. So if we look here, exploration will unlock the next skill in the tree that we need to get to where we want to go. Um, it will down here it tells us when we've learnt it, it will increases our chances of discovering items of interest in the new world and allows you to ascend steeper slopes than before. We will get another skill in the climbing modes. So remember at the moment there's only afraid of heights. Okay, let's do this. Now to do this we need 700 fauna and flora and fauna and 200 natural philosophy so yep we're back to chewing rocks so two rocks and we'll be done 
first though let's eat some food yep you do have to keep eating so you can see why it's important to keep cooking and foraging so let's mm. study let's eat again let's study mm. and now let's get it okay that's the one we want bark gathering now you're probably asking yourself why are these turned dark red why are they not light colored because it's telling us when you see one that's dark red that our one of our skills is not high enough one or more in this case it's flora and fauna it needs to be 825 we're currently only on 700 so what we do is we look to see what's going to give us the most flora and fauna now if we check this whistle what's that that's 300 a rock is 440 a broken burr is 375 a beetle does not do what we want that's 350 well what can I say it's a good job we got lots of rocks to study ah wait a minute there's our new winner flora and fauna 550 so what we can do is study one of these and a good old rock so that will then save us some rocks I am a bit wary though of wasting of what we'll be wasting because herbs and mm, we are I only well I've got four of them so yeah one do no harm let's study that hmm notice it drained all our black bile so we will eat wait for it to go back up now that will give us 300 so I can just use a grass whistle so study that and then increase flora and fauna remember it's going to jump by 200 because that's the one I'm choosing to increase and it will also increase these other green ones up by 100 so here we go we now have the requirements and you'll notice now the color has changed so what we will now do is get these back up so what we will do is to study another one of these abandoned cobwebs mm. and that gives us 550 so if we study another grass whistle that will give us 850 which is enough ah if we had black bile so let's eat you see these grass whistles are so useful so easy to make and so handy study that right now let's see what are we short flora and fauna is enough herbs and sprouts ah we might not have done that yet 450 no we have stocks and cultivars 200 that's where we're slightly short let's have a look will the grass whistle do that yep it will so we study another one we now have bark gathering now bark gathering is going to unlock uh, a few new things for us which are all good one will be with that we can strip bark off of trees to make new items um, if we look down here first of all let's go through the items we currently have so buttons and brooches I've never made that as yet we'll have a look at that in the future notice we can make a bark pack now so that's a backpack um, not sure of the extreme benefits of that I prefer to make backpacks because they give you 50% weight reduction the backpacks the bark packs I'm not sure too much of the benefits of that but I'll look into it for future episode and we'll we'll make one but you need to see that we need dried bark which we can now make um, because we unlocked bark we're gonna unlock bark gathering which will then allow us to make this so let's to close that let's just go back in and have a quick look okay small food recipes that's not really what I want to show you I want to show you that in here 
we're going to unlock one of the best inspirationals, which is Origami. Okay, so let's click buy. Now, if we go back into inspirationals and into here, you will see there should be one called Birch Bark Origami. Or maybe, have I not learnt it yet? Hmm. Hmm. That's strange. I thought that uh, it was unlocked. In fact, I'm sure it was unlocked with that. Birch bark was unlocked, dried bark was unlocked, soak bark, willow bark, and willow peck. Uh, crafts unlocked, birch bark, origami. So it should have been unlocked. Maybe it's just not updated yet. Or maybe I'm doing something else silly, which is prob probably the case. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's under a different tree. No. I'm quite sure it should be where I've sh said there, toys. But it's not appearing yet. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We can get back to that at a later date. There is a reason, perhaps, why it's missing. We can make birch bark cups, which we can drink, take sips from now for when we make drinks later on in this episode, in this series. So it looks like that's all that's been opened up to us so far. Notice now we have potions and medicines, and this is a nice potion for us to make, because as you can see, it will give us 6,000 inspiration over three uses. So we can drink it three times, and it will give us a total of 6,000 inspiration. But guess what? There are much better potions we can make later on, which will give us... The next one up gives us 60,000 inspiration, and the next one after that gives us 150,000 inspiration. That's as many as I know. There's probably ones higher, but I'm not aware of them yet. But we'll get there. So there we are. There's a good potion that we can start making. But I'll need to get into that in more detail to explain a few things about it. Okay, so I was just having a look to see what else. Okay, the next skill then that we need to unlock is nuts and seeds. And that is the one which will allow us to forage more nuts and seeds. There it is. Now we need to get the flora and fauna to 1325. So, you've guessed it, more rock chewing. Let's see, what was that? That was 300, so yeah, we want to study more rocks. Okay, so we'll see if we can study one. Hmm. Now we will eat. Wait for it to go back up. Hopefully I will have enough to do this. Study again. Hmm. Okay, it's 20 short, that's typical. Let's just use a grass whistle. Let's increase. Okay, that's 1100, so we need to do it twice more, which is a shame, because that's gonna chew through my um, materials. Okay, let's make another grass whistle. Worst comes to worst, we can just use them. So let's craft two, and another one. See we're burning through the inspiration now, but that doesn't matter. Because we're getting good skills, and this one will help us tremendously once we can unlock it, that is. So okay, let's study again, hmm. and study again, hmm. and we are um just shy so let's see we've got three rocks left let's use the grass whistles oops we need to eat let's wait for it the black bile to go up okay let's study again let's eat Okay, let's increase. We 
we are 25 short, so we need to do it once more. Hmm, I think we are running out of rocks, but anyway, let's study another rock. Hmm. And then another rock. Hmm. Okay, so we are now 500 short. So that's another rock, which is a shame because we are then not going to have enough to do the actual skill. But anyway, let's eat and study. Yeah, so it's looking like we might be a bit shy of being able to get this. Okay, let's study this rock. Hmm. Let's increase. Okay, so the question is now, can we get it back up? Because now we're on grass whistles to get there. And we also need now stocks and cultivars, which this will give us, and sugar and spice, which this will give us. So it's a case of just studying these now. So let's do that. There's one. Let's see. There's two. Let's study again. 900, let's do another one. But first, let's see. And it will be one more. And there we go. We've now got nuts and seeds. So that's it. Objective met. We've got all the skills we wanted. Now, when we let's show you what that's done. You remember previously when we harvested from a bush, it only gave us two of these red berries, I believe. So now when we pick berries, we get one, two, Hmm. Okay, that's pretty strange. See, it does say more nuts. Ah, okay. Well, maybe it is only nuts it increases. Maybe the next one that I have to do will be another skill tree. Flowers and berries. There we go. That's probably the one that I need to do for the berries. Yeah, there we go. Okay, my apologies, so it's not the berries, it's the nuts that we've increased. So that we will do in the next episode. For now though, let's just grab a load of acorns, because we can eat them. We got three before, now we should get six, or five even. There you go, we got two extra nuts. I thought it was six, but never mind. There's another bush there actually, so let's go harvest that. You can see now we can fast fill up our pocket with uh, nuts. But we do really need to do the berries as well. Because we've had a new recipe in our foods under nuts opened up. Called Nutcracker Sweet. And there are some good ones opening up. Autumn Delight is a very good recipe. The one that I really want though is Trail Mix. Which I believe unlocks when we do the, the berries one. So we will have to do that in the next episode. For this episode, I'm going to just see if we can find any um, of them trees that I spoke about earlier, which were down here. So let's get some acorns. All oh, right, it's not letting me go that way because there's water there. Until we learn the swimming skill, water will be a hazard to us. But as soon as we learn swimming, not anymore. Okay, let's gather some pine cones. You'll notice now we get two instead of one. There's one. There's two. So we've doubled the resources that we get from the uh, pine trees. Which are always good to cook. And another good one is the hickory nuts. See, we get one, two three, four, five, five of them. So you do a few of them trees and you start to get a lot of nuts. 
which is good for cooking because then you've got more chance of getting lard, which we spoke about in a previous episode. Okay, right, so that's enough of the gathering. Let's now show you how we can go to Providence and sell some of these items to make our first bit of money from trading. What we're going to do is we're going to sell the arrowheads because you always find lots of them and we will sell the charm, the savage charm. Now I must tell you when I first started playing Salem I spent about six hours walking across the map trying to find where the town Salem was. I did not realise that you simply have to just walk into your lean-to and you can teleport there. Yes the gamester can be very silly. So to go to Providence, the town, so we can sell. I will do a future episode on Providence because there's lots going on there. But for this episode, it's just to go and sell. So, go walk into the centre of your lean-to. Go to the Master Skills menu, which is here. Click the Adventure button. Click Travel. And click to Providence. Providing you are not overweight and you are within your lean-to, it will start to have a timer and you will be off to Providence. Well, if nothing else you got good from this episode, it was certainly this. It'll save you walking for hours like I did. Yes, I know it's my own stupid fault because I probably didn't read properly, but hey, I was eager to play. Now it's going to play music here whether I've turned it off or not so what I'll do is turn the sound right down because I, I want you to be able to hear me and not the music blaring over me. Okay so here we are. Now one thing I will mention is if there is anyone around you here coughing stay away from them as they'll give you a disease and you will perma die if you don't deal with it. But now we're just going to go over here to the stall you can recognize a stall by its white roof. Right click on the stall, left click sell. You get this icon of a cross, then left click on the items you want to sell. Watch our silver go up. So these are only worth four, um, two silver, not much at all. The feathers are worth 12 silver, but the charm Is worth 30 silver. Now bear in mind these charms are easy to make when you find the, f the materials of the feathers and the arrowheads but look here we are that's the one we really want the bar of soap that's worth 50 silver. So let's sell what we got. You'll see this pile of silver going up until we get a money purse which go there we will have to carry it in our pocket. And there we go, we've now got our first 45 silver pieces. So as you can see, it is not difficult to make money. Now if we right click on this white stall and click buy, you will see there is our writ of homesteading. It costs 150 silver, but like I say, we're going to get to 300 silver before we consider buying it. And that will protect our land. That's why we're desperately trying to get to 300 silver. Anyway, to get back to our lean-to, left click on the adventure button, left click travel, and left click home. And providing you're not overweight, it will take us back home. And then we will call it there for this episode. As you can see, we got a lot done. I mean, ideally I'd love to separate each episode to each new skill, but one, it would be so short an episode, two, there's so many skills I'd end up making a million episodes on Salem. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but there's no point in watching one or two minute episodes now, is there? So there we are. That hopefully now should make you all happy, you know how to make money, you know how to go sell it. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.